to pay homage to this even more, even though there will definitely be other reasons for this, than they pick all their grapes at night. They pick all their grapes? They pick all their grapes. <laughs> Um, hello, uh, my name's Rachel. And I'm Jen. And we are uh, tasting today this Welcome to Our Tasting Channel. Yes, that is what we we're do. Here, that is what we do. <laughs> um, and we're tasting some wines. We're doing our, mm. a wee deviation from our usual expertise in spirits. And we're going to grape stuff. Mm -hmm. Stuff made of grapes. Grape matter. Grape matter all fermented mm -hmm. and kept in a different container to produce some delicious flavours. Mm. So, this one here, we did a wine tasting not too long ago and we were specialising in very, co not common, but well-known grape varieties yeah. from more unusual areas. So, this one here is a Malbec. Um, Malbec is probably the best place we know for Malbec is Argentina. Mm -hmm. So, about 70 to 75% of Malbec on the world comes from Argentina, which is cool as well for a new world. Um, region to have that dominance, I suppose, mm, like yeah, variety. Yeah. Um, so really cool and Malbec, so quite a bold wine, usually mm -hmm. quite tannic, um, usually goes well, very well um, being aged as well. Yeah, there's lots of tannins means it's good for aging, is that that's yeah, right, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, bang on and lots of uh, intensely fruity flavours, lots of blackberry, plum, clove, those mm -hmm. kind of flavours too. Um, Malbec, so I think there's quite a cool history with Malbec in Argentina because Argentina kind of saved Malbec as a, as a, or invigorated it at the very least as a yeah, great variety yeah. uh, because it um, grows very well there I think partly too and it's often blended with other stuff. This year though, this is an Australian Malbec, so less commonly found in Australia. Australia is a really cool place for wine because you've got like really old great varieties rubbing shoulders with really new great varieties mm -hmm. and you've got really old ways of making wine that are rubbing shoulders with quite innovative new ways of making wine. So a cool place to live if you love wine. Mm -hmm. Hopefully and less. And surrounded by vineyards. Less snobby, trying new different things. Yes, like definitely, definitely. definitely. Yeah. Um, so this one here is made in Victoria. Um, this is unusually not aged. So you'll smell, and I think mm -hmm. it's really nice for it, like... Tunes. Tunes, it does. It tastes like those, uh, like the... Spangles. Like, like the cherry tunes or something like that. Oh, I don't know. I think just whatever the normal purple ones are. Are they the like black currant flavour or something? Maybe. Like that? Yeah. It's got a really Tunes French, mate. And French. It's Australian. It's got a really fresh, fresh, fresh. Yeah, really, really like cold and like minty menthol, mm -hmm. but tunes is the first thing. Yep. Spangles and tunes. It's it's really smells like sweeties. Um, mm -hmm. But so not as sweet. No, not 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 as sweet. Fresh and very fruity. So yeah, they don't. Um, Age this at all in oak. I think they ferment for about four weeks or something like that. Mm. So they do ferment. It's for very purpley. It's really purpley. Really purpley. Because yeah, that's what you look for. Unaged tends to be purple, and age tends to be more like red to brown. Yep. 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 Um, so this is. And yeah, really lovely. purple means it's quite young. Is that? Mm -hmm. I think that is or un unaged at all. Yeah. <clears throat> Um, and so this particular uh, vineyard or producer, the listening station they're called, so they are kind of celebrating the old Australian listening stations, if you know what they oh, are. Oh, yeah, yeah. And like satellites on their bottles. Ah, uh -huh. oh, that's really cool. Which is I like cool. that. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Difficult grapes. Difficult grapes. <laughs> mmm. Mmm. So minty. It feels like it spreads all over your face. Fresh fr <laughs> it does, it does, it does. Fresh fruity, fruity. <laughs> fresh, minty, like a, like a, a, what's that dessert called that holds itself up? Blanche. Like a, uh, like a fancy or one of them. Like a, a, a souffle. Yeah, like spongy, but something like that. Yeah, yeah. Like a cream caramel. Yeah, yeah, but right. like a black currant menthol one. Oh yeah, yeah. It's got like... a bit of creamy. That's no, too, too much far too long to find that. Mmm, <laughs> that is lovely. Mmm. What would you nice. have that with? I don't know. I feel like I was gonna say like a minty, like a chocolatey dessert might be nice, but oh, because it's quite refreshing next to it. Yeah, yeah I don't know how you do that with savoury. I think some people had suggested maybe things with mint sauce. If you're having some kind of dish that had included mm -hmm. mint sauce, mm -hmm. then that would you go can well. Contrast as well, though. Like, so I don't know how you would. 
Because it doesn't feel like to me it would go very well with salty. I feel like that would be something you just drink on its own. Yeah, or could it go with something if you had like something on a side of like green vegetables? Yeah, that's I feel like idea. that would that's go good, yeah. with broccoli or asparagus. Oh, that I agree. Like I steamed. Agree. I agree. I agree. Yeah, you're right. It's nice, it's, it's quite, quite high. I find that quite unusual. Mmm. Mmm. Um, so they've been, they planted their Malbec grapes in 2000 and um, about five acres of them. They've got over a hundred acres, I think, of Oof. vineyard that have different grape varieties on it. Wow. Um, and it's really nice, really quite unusual, mm. that one. Like yeah, it. yeah, I don't think I've ever had a wine that tasted so cold. So cold, so But was not cold. Yeah. It's the taste is cold, not the temperature. Mental. Mental. Mm. Mental. Mental, mental. Pickled grapes. <laughs> Join us again next time for some more pickled grapes. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Subscribe. Thanks for joining us. We hope you enjoyed our video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. You can catch us on social media as well at the Grail Tastings. Sland, and see you next time. No, they pickle their grapes. <laughs> pickle their grapes, see? <laughs> um, my grapes are pickled. <laughs>